Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the AVS in-channel vent visors on this 2020 Ram 2500. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am starting on the rear in the passenger side. What I'm gonna do is first scuff up the inside of our felt track right here. So they give you a red scotch bright pad. Just kind of go back and forth and get it nice and scuffed up. What that does is it gives you a nice surface for the 3M tape to bond to. Once you scuff that up, they also give you some alcohol prep pads. And we're going to stick that up into the window track and slide it through. And make sure we do that a couple of times until it comes out nice and clean. If you've got an older truck uh, or if it's extremely dirty, go ahead and get some extra isopropyl rubbing alcohol and wipe that out with some isopropyl until it comes clean. Okay, so on the edges, I've gone ahead and pulled away the tape that covers the small pieces on each side. And I've also on each side pulled away the long piece of tape about two inches away, exposing an adhesive. Do that on both sides. Then what we're gonna do is slide it up into the track and I like to kind of push it back so I'm keeping the tape away from everything until I slide it up into place. And then once it's up in place, then I'll pull it forward. Now we can slide a little bit of the tape away and seat it to the felt. Now we need to very gently go ahead and raise the window up into the track. We're gonna hold this so the window doesn't get hung up on the visor. We're gonna keep it up for 24 hours. All right, now on the front window track, I've already gone ahead and scuffed it up with a 3M pad and wiped it down with the alcohol. I've already gone ahead and peeled back a little bit of the tape on each side, and now we're ready to go. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little plastic pry tool, and I'm gonna pry back on the window frame or the mirror frame a little bit and slide the front tab of the vent visor into position right there. Um, next, what I'm gonna do is put the back of the window visor up in place and then raise the front up just by sliding it forward. Let me use the plastic pry tool just to pry that back so I can slide it up. That way that gets that into place up here and also in the back. And now I can go ahead and peel away the 3M tape. And again, very slowly raise the window and make sure it does not get hung up, especially in the back. Repeat the same process for the opposite side. And again, make sure those windows stay up for a full 24 hours for proper bond. That concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, click the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.